NCDB at UCLA is home to about 200 scientists studying diverse questions across the life sciences. The kinds of questions that we ask in our labs have broad ramifications across society, whether it's better understanding how plants create the structures that they have or understanding how brains form during development. These kinds of questions, I think, ultimately help us as a society better understand ourselves, the environment around us, and to produce what we hope cures and treatments for diseases that affect millions of people across the world. For my own lab, one of the biggest challenges that we face is actually moving data from our microscopes to the servers that do the analysis on that data. Up until now, for us, it's actually been faster generally to take hard drives like this and copy the data off, walk over to our servers, and copy the data onto them for analysis. This is incredibly inefficient because the entire time that we're copying data like this, we can't use either the microscopes to collect more data or the servers to analyze the data that is living on these hard drives. What the Stellis data platform means for us is to never have to stop doing experiments. We can disconnect the process of analyzing data from the process of actually collecting data. Before, for every experiment that we did that might last an hour, it would mean two to three days where we couldn't do any more experiments because the network was congested from the remnants of that first experiment. With the Stellis data platform and the improvements that we've made to our networking, we can now run our microscopes continuously, almost 24 hours a day, and keep our scientists busy at the bench. And before, we would have to shut down our entire pipeline, stop our analysis, just to be able to get that time-sensitive sample onto our microscopes in time to be able to collect valuable data. With the Stellis data platform, we never have to make that trade-off. We can always keep working and keep collecting data at the moment that we need it. It's not just the technical speeds or the specifications on paper of the Stellis data platform that matter to us. It's what it enables in terms of the science that we can do. So by taking away a major bottleneck and a sticking point where scientists have to set up an experiment and wait for a while for the data to catch up to them, we can continue to work at the pace of our minds and at the pace of the science and the pace of the samples that we have in our hands. More than ever, we can collect a dazzling array of information about diseases, about samples, about individual patients. And the ability for people, for the ability of scientists to be able to process that data directly impacts our ability to understand it and to use that information to guide further scientific inquiry and the development of treatments and cures. For us, the Stellis Data Platform allows us to more efficiently take advantage of the resources that we have to be able to do more science in less time.